What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. This is Sound We Make. Today I'm gonna show you how to remake Kid Leroy and Justin Bieber's new song called Stay. As you can see I have arranged everything. I also named the sections here and we're gonna go through each one of them. Before we start I just want to point out that the tempo for this session is 85 beats per minute. So make sure you adjust that before you try to remake this yourself. So in the intro part we have this electric piano. So for this I used X-Pen 2 and this is the preset. For the effects I used stereo delay and reverb. I also have this ambience noise loop. Okay, so now we're moving to verse number one. So for the electric piano, everything is the same except I remove the lower notes. Then we have this bass line. So this bass is from Alchemy, it's called semi-acoustic doubled and I used short settings. I also used EQ where I cut the mids. Then we have these drums. Bass pad. So here at the end of the verse, I created a pause by removing these elements. I also used this reverse crash and these drums. For the chorus, everything stays the same. Electric piano is the same as in the intro part. The basses stay the same, also the drums. Uh, we're adding a crash and impact. In the second part of the chorus, we're adding this synth. So this synth is from x 2, presets called Saw Stack, and I also use reverb on it. I added this ARP. So this is the preset, these are the ARP settings, and I have delay on it, reverb, and channel EQ where I cut the lows and low mids. So here, uh, just before the verse 2 starts, we have this little sweep and it just sweeps into these snares and then the verse two starts. So here for the electric piano, we're adding a second layer. So this sound is from Alchemy. It's called Outer Land Synth, uh, Synth Settings. And also I used Tremolo. So in the verse two, we have a different bass line. And the drums stay the same. At the end of the verse 2 we have this break. So here we have these claps. I automated the on and off button for reverb so that the reverb turns on on the second clap. So now we're at the chorus 2 section. So here we have a new bass sound. So this is the preset. I also have these guitars. So these are from x -Band. Then we have two more. And these are actually cut out from a guitar loop. And lastly we have these hats.
So I used Enveloper because I felt like the attack was too much. And I also used the Kickstart to create a different groove. So in here as well, uh, just before the bridge starts, I take away some of the elements and then there's a pause with reverse crash at the end. So now we're at the bridge part and here everything is completely new except the electric piano part. For the bass, I used bass pad. And then I have these three layers of synth chords. So then we have this uh, stomp sample. And a kick. So here we have the electric piano with a single EQ filter on and it's opening up as it moves uh, closer to chorus 3. So in the last chorus everything stays the same except the hats and I also have a second layer for the hats. In the outro, we have the same uh, electric piano pattern as we have in the intro. And then we have a bass pad and the uh, ambience uh, noise loop. Okay, so uh, the last thing I will show you is uh, what I have on my master. So this mix is definitely a very rough mix, but I'll show you what I have here. So I have OTT, 15%, uh, uh, stereo spread, uh, reverb, and a channel EQ.